Welcome back to here at Goldberg. Today we're going to be talking about a phenomenon in the manosphere which seems to be characteristic mainly of MIGS house, although there are some exceptions. And this was a foreign concept to me, probably because I come from a blue collar background where men typically don't do this. But in any case, it was like a road to Kukdaskis flash. Some years back, I made the first video concerning MGTOW, and this guy in the comments section began attacking me. He's a dude that you can still find to this day making the same comments under MGTOW videos, trying to get sympathy and upvotes, because he's definitely gone his own way, obviously. But in any case, I said to him, I'm not telling you to get married, but if you considered maybe getting involved in your community and trying to mentor younger men so they avoid the mistakes you believe males have been collectively making, especially in regards to women. And his response was to go, Eh, you're just a feminist agent trying to shame me. I was like, wait, what? But you see this mentality where it's not simply that um, you shouldn't pursue women. It's gotten to the point where if you even suggest that a man have a positive role or improve himself, work on personal development, period, they will say you're shaming them. And look, I get it, you know, if it's your wine aunt telling you you need to get married, I understand you considering that shaming if she's really obnoxious about it. But if we're talking about stuff like, I saw a guy responding, this dude had made a video against MGTOW. MGTOW responds, claims that MGTOW is not about eating healthier, working out. He said it's just going your own way. Okay, but if you've got all this free time, because you're not pursuing women, all these extra resources, one would hope you're using that to build a better plot for yourself and perhaps establish a good legacy of sorts, not just evolve into, I've got to spend all my time justifying why I'm MGTOW. That's the part where I think internet MGTOW has really lost its way. Because instead of men going their own way and really self-actualizing pursuing what they want out of life. It's a bunch of children who have lost their way, complaining about the state of affairs, and almost worsening their situation because they're constantly going on about risk. Sure, you don't sign a contract with the state, but you're going to have to take risk if you want to make your life better. That's certainly been my experience. When I've challenged myself with some area I was not really confident, I grew stronger, or I made more money, or I had better opportunities with women. It might seem cliche, but it's true, providing you're willing to apply yourself. And uh, when I hear these comments, I can't help but think back to the parable of the talents. So you had two servants that were given five talents each, and they went out and traded, and they were able to double their amounts. The third servant, though, had that mentality, the extreme risk avoidance, the paranoia of losing his talent. So he just digs a hole and buries it. And the master becomes very angry. Uh, the passage goes, Take therefore the talent from him, referring to the last servants, and give it unto him that hath ten talents. For unto every one that hath shall be given, and shall have abundance. But from him that hath not shall be taken away even that which he hath. The basic idea behind that is that yeah, he could have lost the talent, but at least he was trying. He was attempting to better his position. Of course, there are people who don't like that story. They say it's anti-poor, but it really refers to how much you're willing to go out there and, yeah, take a risk. Because if you want to make more money or you want to have a better life, risk is entailed. Being individualistic, going galt, these are all about risk. But it seems like everyone wants to be an individual who doesn't eat a woman, but they can't run away from that whole plantation of essentially what we call hate simping. So this is what a lot of guys in the manosphere, regardless of label, but especially MGTOW, do. They say they're going their own way, but they construct an altar unto women or their rage against women, and that begins to have control over them, which is one of the reasons why, if we're really honest, some of these more you know, fringed here, MGTOWs, the ones that have started advocating like dating trannies or dating sex dolls, are probably the ones who should just get married because uh, women have such a negative control over their life, they might as well be in a marriage, maybe an unhappy marriage, but at least they could sort of think they're channeling it towards making her satisfied. 
that's not an advocacy of marriage, by the way. I'm saying for those people who are just so obsessed with not needing women, but they are they need the whole concept of not needing women to get by every day. And that's quite sad, honestly. The reason that you have to be careful with this is that it just becomes more and more delusional. Now, these bigger MGTOW channels, they have to keep you hooked on. And they're people, they don't respect their audience. They know these dudes are by and large suckers. And so they have to make you think, if you keep focusing on not needing women, you go on strike, somehow women are going to, you know, chase after you and value you and say, please come back. We know this is not the truth. If you follow black pill realities, you know they don't actually care. And this is what these MGTOW channels are not telling you, which is quite unfortunate. This guy, if he goes his own way, yeah, there might be some women who are actually disappointed or upset. But if Ed, Ed, and Eddie go their own way, if a short, fat manlet goes his own way, women don't care. I mean, fundamentally. And the reason you can tell this is that these MGTOW channels that will claim they don't need women will desperately find any example of a woman talking about MGTOW to respond to because they want the attention of women. However, if you notice, it's almost invariably women like this. And no offense against her, I'm just saying she's on the older side. She really wants to be in that stage of getting married. She's not getting the same attention she did when she's 18. But the reason they always respond to these women who they claim are lower value is that they want the attention of women, and they want to make you believe that somehow going MGTOW causes women to be angry and chase you. But they're not women that you actually want, are they? You don't see a lot of these chicks talking about MGTOW. You don't see the Stacys and the Beckys, the Alicias and Laquandas, the Graces and Judys, the Marias and Guadalupes, uh, the, uh, or even the Priyankas and the Pujas, because those women have plenty of guys. Look on TikTok. Do you think those women care that you're going your own way? Not by and large, because they've got tons of dudes willing to simp for them. And in fact, uh, Lux Maximus had a great video where he posed as a 400-pound, 35-year-old single mom in, I think it was Los Angeles, and all these Chads and Tyrones were hitting him up. That shows you the state of affairs. So if you're going to go MGTOW, take that freedom, take that energy, take those resources, and build what you want out of life. If you want to learn multiple languages, you want to learn instruments, you want to compose music, write books, uh, you want to travel. I mean, now it's harder to do that internationally, but you can go into Mexico if you're in the United States. You can travel around the United States. You can build a business. Focus on something that's going to give you real value that allows you to feel like as you get towards the end of your life, I've done something meaningful. Spending your time uh, really aspiring to mediocrity and focusing on these women who don't want you and thinking they're going to chase you if, if the situation becomes extreme enough, that's not going to give you happiness in the end. That's going to be a lifetime of trying to justify not you going MGTOW because you want to achieve something, but you're just going MGTOW because of women. That's not a long-term model of happiness and success. So I really encourage you, find what you want out of life and use the, uh, everything you gain from not pursuing women, whether you do or not, use that to find value and find happiness and peace and leave the rest of that stuff behind. The uh, rage pill phase, yeah, it's fun for a couple of months, but then it becomes actually detrimental to your own ability to advance in the great journey of life.